Are you ready? Are you ready? I used to take myself out on dates. Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate. Sometimes I'd even get the steak. Hi my lovelies, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing amazingly well. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about my most complimented niche perfumes. But before I start this video, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Kindly give this video a huge thumbs up and let me know what your scent of the day is. Now I have 10 incredible perfumes. I cheated a little bit because I've got like one or two layering combinations that I want to share. You guys already know how much I love niche perfumes. It's my favorite genre of perfumes. I do love designer perfumes a lot. I also spoke about my top 10 most complimented designer perfumes in last week's video. If you haven't watched that video, please go and click and watch the video. I also have a vlog. First of all, guys, the love you showed me on my last vlog, I am so grateful. Thank you so much to everyone that watched. Thank you for all your comments. I love and I appreciate you all immensely. Now, let's dive into these perfumes right here. Now, a lot of them, if you're not new here, you already know a lot of these perfumes. But if you're new here, this might be new to you. I am someone that loves compliments. I love compliments. I love to give compliments. But I wear perfumes for me. Ultimately, my perfumes are wear for my personal enjoyment but when i get compliments it makes me feel amazing it's the best compliment that i can receive when someone say to me you smell great looking great yeah i like your clothes yeah but when someone say you smell amazing it just hits differently so i have some amazing perfumes here and i'm going to start off with the ultimate perfume ever this is our fetty by penhaligons this is the best seller that penhaligons has this they have a lot of incredible perfumes you guys already know how much i love this brand but our fetty is their number one our fetty is a very perfectly balanced unisex perfume to me it smells like an aromatic woody spicy cooling um just amazingness in a bottle the longevity on this is absolutely unreal this has a woody dry down as well it's a very sophisticated type of perfume if you know our fetty please comment down below this is one of the most popular perfumes always viral people are always going to speak about this perfume because it's a masterpiece in a bottle so that is our fetty by penhaligons the next perfume is pretty new to my collection and this is vanilla candy rock sugar fifth 42 by Kayali. You can already see the dents in this perfume. I only got this last week and I've worn this to work maybe three times this week. And, and I can confirm this is a man magnet. People absolutely love this perfume. Now, I do not wear it alone. I wore it with Vanilla 28 also by Kayali. Now, this is meant to be, is this little sister of Vanilla 28 or is it big sister? I don't know. But I feel like they merge so well together. Now, I always talk about Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper together with Vanilla 28 being my most incredible layering combo um, offerings by Kayali. Uh, but I will say that this is definitely number one right now because the combo is giving me very, very sweet, sugary, brown sugar, candy, flossy, bubble gummy. It's such a flirtatious, sweet and sexy perfume together i absolutely love longevity on this perfume alone is amazing i will say this now a lot of people have issues with longevity when it comes to kayali perfumes but not in this case this is really really long lasting on my skin obviously you have to test it for yourself to see whether or not it will last long on you and i think it's amazing that they offer three different sizes they've got the 10 mil the 50 mil and they've got the 100 mil i had to get myself the 100 mil because i knew that my daughter was going to love this as well and she always comes in to smell my perfumes and wear my perfume so i thought to myself better off to get the 100 mil and i do not regret it one bit this does have a little bit of a similarity to label but there's an annoying thing in label that made me declutter it it doesn't have that in here i don't know what it is you definitely get that sugary pear you get that candy floss but all of those notes on my skin doesn't come together until the very very dry down so i feel like 
the opening in the first i want to say maybe two minutes you get the label feel but in the dry down distance alone this is amazing layer it with vanilla 28 if you have it incredible combination super super long lasting and highly complimented now this next perfume is probably the most complimented perfume in my whole entire collection and it is my delina exclusive by performs the mali i have two bottles because i take this when i'm going out i love my 30 ml thanks to my husband for getting this for me this is a 75 ml this perfume is super pricey but i will get this perfume over and over and over again i have a backup bottle because i never want to be without this perfume now this to me if i was getting married again to my husband of course to my husband but getting married again or if i could go back to pick a scent of the day on my wedding day it would be delina exclusive i what insolence on my wedding day for a while i didn't remember because i've been married a while i didn't remember but i remember now that i was wearing insolence by galan but if i was to go back i would definitely do delina exclusive now this is a beautiful powdery rose it's got some um it's got vanilla it does have oud which is super super quiet in this perfume it's not a forward oud it's not unfriendly this perfume is unreal longevity is unbelievable i'm talking the whole day the whole night people will be smelling you compliment galore i wore this at essence in um in italy this year i wear this to a lot of events i constantly get compliments i absolutely love and adore this perfume one of the best if not the best by performs the mali next on my list is ambrosia imperial by ai the great and navitas performs ah this perfume is saffron it's banana it's vanilla it's spicy it's sweet it's addictive it's a must have i feel like this this is the best no i don't feel like this is the best perfume by navitas performs period from the ones i've tried anyway um i feel like this perfume stands alone it, there's nothing like this on the market people do banana perfumes here and there there's not much that i've, I've not smelt I've not smelled many banana perfumes, I should say, but the ones that I have smelt, I love, but this one stands on its own. This, I don't feel like this perfume has a rival, if that makes sense. It's so unique in its own way. It's a gourmand that just smells edible, but it smells like perfume also. The longevity is unreal with this perfume. I get compliments literally every single time i wear this perfume i adore it i will repurchase this as long as navitas makes this perfume i will repurchase it so that is ambrosia imperial by ai the great and navitas next on my list is ani by nisha Ney. now this is my spicy ginger um cardamom i think it's got cardamom i don't remember i think it's got cardamom it's giving me cardamom pink pepper type of opening because it's got that cooling spice and the vanilla is beautiful the ginger in here is perfection in a bottle i wore this again at essence but i was coming back from um milan i was at the airport and a lady stopped me to ask me what i was wearing and it was annie now annie i can't rave about this perfume enough this is an all year round like you can wear this perfume in any type of season it's always going to shine it's always it's never going to let you down you're always going to smell incredible you're going to smell unique not everyone will smell like this i find this to be unisex if i'm honest but for me personally it's leaning a little little bit more feminine than it is masculine but i adore this perfume my favorite by the brand they have so many good perfumes that like i don't feel like nishane does any bad perfume at all but this one has to be my favorite as a certified vanilla lover annie is a must have in my collection next is jardins the miss Fab. i received this perfume maybe about a year ago now in pr and i am incredibly grateful to this brand for sending this perfume to me i'm always going to own this now this is a very rose forward perfume with a sweetness of dates the dates in here makes this perfume so special super addictive as well you can literally smell yourself over and over and over again when you are wearing this perfume people will smell you the projection is about two arms length because i've had people where i've been across the table from them and they could smell me and they asked me what i was wearing and it was this beauty right here i do have a 10 percent discount code i don't make any extra money or anything like that so just save yourself some coins get the discount code purchase this perfume i wouldn't say it's blind buy safe per se 
but i feel like a lot of people will love this but you have to like a sweet perfume you have to like your florals you have to like a perfume that has a little bit of a uniqueness to it although it's rose um some vanilla and also dates it smells quite different and it's also a compliment magnet you literally can't go wrong with this perfume i highly highly recommend it next on my list is oud satin mood by mason francis cogdejan now this perfume it doesn't have a huge dent in it but best believe i wear it and the reason there isn't much dent in this perfume is because a little goes a long way this is beast mode this is powerful this is a jammy rose with some oud with some vanilla it projects it lasts forever and ever on the skin it's a compliment beast i would all I would always, always recommend this perfume for anyone that wants their perfume to lead the way before they get there. This is what this does. Um, it's definitely a unisex scent, I would say, but leaning a little bit more feminine, in my opinion. I've smelled this on some guys, and I don't know. I don't think I like it on guys. Not saying that, you know, wear what you want, but for me, I don't want my husband to wear this. I want to wear this perfume because he's giving me sweet, bossy, sexy feminine energy so that is oud satin mood by mfk next on my list is intense cafe by montal now intense cafe it doesn't have that much coffee in here it's giving more of a latte vibe it's got some rose it's got vanilla it has that dna that montal puts in every single perfume they have it smells almost like a light synthetic oudy scent that has a sweetness about it now this perfume in some ways reminds me of um the vanilla not the vanilla the sweet diamond pink pepper by keali there is something in there that just literally they don't smell exactly alike but i feel like it's the oody thing because apparently there's no oud in this perfume i i don't know what is here but i definitely get something oody i feel like the type of oud in here i'm seeing this oud in there i feel like it's in here there's a there's a really strong similarity in the way that it smells they're both quite woody in the dry down which i really really enjoy now again this is more like a very milky type cafe latte sort of scent together with the rose together with the vanilla together with that oody woody scent this is another one that is beast mode highly projecting like compliment beast people love this perfume now i only wear this more in the autumn and winter but i would wear it in the spring like in the evening when it's like quite cool and like you know the weather is not giving hot i would wear it why not it's a really really gorgeous perfume this is not giving me sexy if i'm honest you're just giving me you know you smell good you just smell good and it's effortless and i really love it for that reason so that is intense cafe by montal angel share by killian now this this is my favorite from the whole entire killian line or is it i love princess also but there's something very addictive about this perfume this is giving a boozy vanilla with some cognac it's giving woody it's like cinnamony it's so gorgeous so gorgeous i'm just so obsessed with it the only thing i didn't like about this perfume was the cap now i got my cap changed i went into selfridges no not selfridges harrods because the cap did not close properly so they were so lovely they changed the cap for me gave literally to the lady opened the new bottle and just swapped out the cap cap for me so it's you know, i'm able to like close it properly now which i really really love the service was just amazing now if you've got that issue with your you know angel share bottle i would suggest you definitely go into one of their stores and just say to them like change the cap for me like this is an expensive perfume the cap should be durable it should be sturdy it shouldn't be flying off but anyhow this perfume is so boozy it's so sexy very addictive this is one that you can share with your man this is literally a 50 50 unisex perfume it doesn't lean either way i love 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 the way this smells it stays on my skin on my clothing for hours and hours on end this is like an occasion going that kind of perfume you want to be seen you want to be noticed no you want people to be like who's this fine girl who is this fine girl this is the perfume that she wears so that is angel share by killian 
last but not least is bodicea the bravery now this perfume i have never ever ever heard anyone talk about this on youtube on instagram nowhere people talk about different type of bodicea i think people talk about the most popular one i can't remember the name but i'll leave a picture there now i have a few from this brand from this house that i love i love one that's called heroin another one people don't really talk about but this perfume there's something so so different about it now if you like a perfume such as um hypnotic poison by christian dior but a lot more elevated a lot more top tier this is the perfume the scent profile is quite similar i would say but this is giving me more of a spicy opening with that pink pepper it definitely has like a strong rosy scent that is like powdered as well you get a lot of amber you get some oak moss which i feel like grounds this it gives a little bit of earthy tones in the base and you get a lot a lot of vanilla which makes this so so special so so amazing long lasting a little goes a long way although i do have a bit of a dent in this perfume but this is not one that i want to finish anytime anytime soon because it's really really pricey and it's very scarce it's really rare to find you can only find this at harrods at the moment i believe selfridges once had it but i don't know if they still have it um there was a time that it was meant to be discontinued but it's not discontinued anymore because i asked them at harrods and they said it's readily available so if you wanted to get any perfume from this house the house of bodicea i highly recommend this one so that is the bravery by bodicea so my lovelies you know how we do i'm gonna pick my top three <laughs> which is so hard but i'm gonna pick it in terms of which one i've gotten most compliments on recently i think that's a fair way to do it so the first one is annie by nishane and the vanilla sisters by kayali and last but not least is alfetti by pen halligan so my lovelies that is it for today's video please leave in the comment section down below what is your most favorite perfumes from my list and what is your most complimented perfumes in your collection leave it all down below thank you so much for watching please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i cannot wait to see you guys in my next video bye